basically just do an updated video on how I apply my tape and hair extensions. So if you guys have been following my channel for a little while, you know that when I first started YouTube, I did a like how I apply my tape and hair extensions video. And honestly, when I look back at that video, I just cringe because it seems like so long ago. I'm pretty sure it was just like about a year ago. Just the way that I talked in front of the camera, I had like zero confidence. I wasn't really good at the YouTube thing and I feel like I've grown a lot since then. So I thought it was time to do more of like an updated video and just do it a little bit better quality. As you guys can see, I have super short hair at the moment. I did just have my hair redone last week with some foils because I'm wanting to go a little bit lighter. So I did go to Ola La Hair and Beauty. I will link her down below if any of you guys want to go and check her out. This is what my hair is looking like at the moment from the back. So the hair that I'm going to be applying today is from Human Hair Extensions Online. I'm being 100% honest with you guys. I have tried so many brands of hair extensions and these 100% hands down have been my ultimate favorite hair. The ones that I just have taken out from my hair, I actually had them in my hair for a year. Obviously I would still remove them and then like reapply them after six to eight weeks but I reapplied them so many times and by the end of it they were still feeling 100% fine. I have now got new hair to apply today because I've started going a little bit lighter and the other ones I did dye dark which you guys would have seen if you follow my channel. I did like a video of dyeing my hair with my hair extensions and I went from blonde to dark. So normally when I would apply other tape brands I would have them in for six to eight weeks and then I would take them out and I would have to replace them completely. The hair extensions I have today are actually a little bit lighter than what my hair is but I'm pretty sure that it's going to blend in really really well. For a full head for my hair I like to apply 60 to 80 pieces but if your hair is a little bit longer you could probably get away with 40. So the hair colors that I did order was 18 slash 613 which is this one so it's sort of like a foiled look. I've got this one in 40 pieces and then I also got number 60 and I've toned it with also the purple shampoo. I have a mirror sitting right here in front of me and then I've got another mirror on the table behind me here. So I'm going to be looking into this mirror and then seeing the back of my head in the mirror that I've got here. So obviously all you need for this video you can have a comb if you want to use that to separate your hair for each layer. I'm just going to use my nails because I find it personally easier. Obviously you're going to need your tape and hair extensions so for a full head I would say 40 to 60 pieces minimum is required. If you have shorter hair like me then you're going to require a little bit extra. I've also just got a bunch of hair clips to clip my hair out of the way while I'm applying them and I do have my hair straightener as well for when I've just applied them. I like to seal them with the straightener. So basically with the hair each little one comes with a little tab of tape. So all you need to do is just peel off the little blue sticker and then it will be sticky underneath and that's what you apply to your hair. All I basically do when I apply my extensions is I part my hair and then I clip it up out of the way and make sure there's no little flyaways. Then what I want to do is just take off that little blue sticky tab and I'm going to apply the tape to my head. You don't want to apply it too close to your scalp. You want to make sure that when you stick two pieces together, it can freely flip upwards and downwards without pulling on any of your hair. Now, looking at this next to my hair, it does look quite a lot lighter, but I feel like once they're all in my hair, it's going to blend quite nicely, and I'll just put some curls through it. I can also tone it a little bit later if I feel like I need to. So I've just finished doing my first section of hair. So with this section here, I'm going to apply three tapes. I'm going to start by applying the one in the center first, and then I'll apply two on either side. Okay, so all I'm going to do is take off the little sticky part here. I find the easiest way to apply it is I'm going to look in that back mirror, and then I'm just going to stick that down in the center of my hair as best as I can. And you don't want to go too close to your scalp. So I'm going to place it about here. Once I've applied it, I'll just kind of like pull the extension up like this just to make sure it doesn't feel too tight. I'm going to do them quite close together because you don't want to go too close to the edges of your hair because if you wear it up in a ponytail, they're going to be noticed. So you want to make sure you sort of stick like within a couple of centimeters of the edge of your hair just so that they're not noticed when you do wear your hair up. Okay, so once I've applied that first layer of tape extensions, what I'm going to do is flick the hair up and then clip it up out of the way. And what you want to do is make sure you've only got the hair that's actually attached to the tape. So what I like to do is use a little comb or like something that's got a tail on it like this. And I kind of just pull off any hair that's not completely stuck to the tape. That's going to stop it pulling when you flip it up and down and you really don't want them to feel uncomfortable. Stick that as best as I can to that tape. So I'm going to remove those clips there and then let the hair flick back down and then just do three little clamps. Okay, so I'm up to my next layer of hair and I've just sectioned my hair from this time about where the top of where my ears start and I've got it as straight as I can. So with this next layer, what I want to do is apply this color hair extension on the top 
and then on the bottom I'm going to be applying the one that's number 60. With the last one I've got one more that I, I can apply to this row here. I'm just going to turn around and show you guys. Basically I can't fit a whole extension because it's going to end up showing when I tie my hair up. So there's not quite enough room to apply the whole extension. So what I'm going to do is just cut this hair extension in half and then I'll like stick it to itself. This is what my second row is looking like from the back. So like I said, the next ones that I'm going to take are these ones here in the shade 60 and I've used the purple fudge shampoo on these to tone them down a little bit. My camera apparently just didn't feel like cooperating and I just did half an extra layer. Um, luckily I noticed that it wasn't actually filming. So the next layer I've pretty much parted from in line with my eyebrows. With this layer, I'm going to go from outside to inside. So I've already done three on this side here um, and then I'm just going to turn around and face this mirror and I'm going to do three from the outside to the inside on this side and that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys now that I'm up to my rows like closer to the top. Basically they don't all have to be even so if you have a look at the back of my hair now you can see they're not all evenly spaced but that's okay just as long as you can fit in as many as you can in each row without them being seen. And obviously you guys can tell these extensions are so much lighter than my hair but when my hair is all out it's going to be curled really pretty and they're going to blend in just fine. I didn't want to go any darker with the extensions because I am working on going lighter with my hair. Eventually my hair will be matching the extensions perfectly at the ends. So now I'm going to start applying the extensions closer up at the front edges of my hair. What I'm going to do is apply them kind of more on an angle that way when my hair's in a high ponytail they're kind of flipping up in the direction of like where the high ponytail is going to be if that makes sense. My hair is super fine in this section of my head so I need to make sure I don't go too close to my hairline. I'm going to again take that on an angle. I think I'm going to sort of part my hair closer to the center but still on this side a little bit. So that means I can take the extensions a little bit higher. Now if you guys do have longer hair than what I do, you don't need to take these extensions up as high as what I do. I only do it because my hair is shorter and I'm happy to style it in a way that you can't see them when they're placed up a little bit higher. So just keep that in mind. You don't have to apply them exactly how I am but this is just how I like to do it because my hair is so short. So I might just do two there and then I'm going to leave the rest of the extensions so that I can see what I need to fill in at the back of my hair. Okay, so this is how it's looking at the moment. I've pretty much just added two extra rows on the top of my hair. I'm just going to turn around and have a look at the back of my head and see where I think I need to add any extra ones. I think that's looking pretty good. I 100% need to add a couple more extensions a little bit higher up just so that it blends a little bit nicer. So I'm going to add a couple more sort of in this section here of my head. pretty happy with how that's looking at the moment. I kind of just did a rough cut today because my razor comb has got super blunt so it wasn't really making the hair cut like as nicely as it normally would. So now what I'm going to do is just kind of run the straightener through them just to blend them in that little bit nicer. So you want to take your hair with the extensions, grab the straightener and you just like slightly curve it under and that just helps tuck those ends away. So you guys can see that looks a little bit neater um, and then put the straightener through and then curve it under slightly. I'm going to do it there and curve it under. You guys have no idea how excited I am to have lighter hair again. How long do extensions last? If you take care of them the correct way, use nice products on them and you pretty much just like really take care of them, they're going to last you a good year. When you go to sleep with your hair extensions in, you don't really want to sleep with your hair out because that can cause it to tangle. So I normally do a loose little side ponytail. I put it up in a high ponytail, just a really loose one. Or I would do like a little loose plait at the side of my hair. And you can also get like a silk or satin pillowcase which can also help them not tangling. It's really important to look after your hair once you've applied it. If you've spent so much money on having really long beautiful extensions, you want to make sure that you're using products that are suitable on extensions and I can 100% say that these products here have been my saviour. So this is from SF Hair Care. It's a lady in Melbourne and she's created her own hair care range and they are 100% safe on hair extensions. Honestly, I'm pretty sure that these are the products that made my last hair extensions last 12 months and my hair has definitely got a lot more healthy and my extensions stay 
perfect every single time that I wash them. So I've got the shampoo and conditioner here. So the shampoo, I shampoo my hair twice and I kind of just sort like on my scalp area. And then I go in with the conditioner from the mid lengths to the ends of my hair. And this here is a miracle in a bottle. Sometimes if your hair gets a little bit naughty when you just get out of the shower and it's a little bit hard to brush, this is like a really good detangling spray. It's safe enough to use on kids and it literally brushes the tangles out straight away. Like it is so good. So when I was dyeing my extensions yesterday, um, I put like a purple shampoo through them and sometimes they're a little bit hard to brush when they're wet You have to be really really gentle So I would spray a little bit of this through the hair and honestly it made it brush out so much easier And it does have a heat protectant in it as well These products I will link the Instagram page down below and the website so you guys can check them out but I 100% recommend these if you have tape and hair extensions. Human Hair Extensions Online was also kind enough to give me a discount code for you guys. I don't actually make anything from the sales, just so you know. But I'm pretty sure you guys save $10 or something like that off your purchase. Everything to do with my hair, I'm going to link it in the description box down below. If I've got any discount codes, they'll be linked down below as well. So that's basically how I apply my tape and hair extensions. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you did, like always, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel just to let me know that you guys do enjoy watching my videos. I also just wanted to mention if you are not comfortable putting in your own tape and hair extensions I 100% recommend going to your hairdresser. I'm not a professional. I'm not a hairstylist or anything I've just been doing my extensions for about eight years now So I feel like I've had quite a bit of experience and I know exactly how I want to wear them and how I want to cut them in And like what sort of products I like to use on them. But that brings us to the end of this video I really hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video